Welcome to one of the oldest cultures in the world. Egypt has stood at the center of civilization for millennia. Let's explore the ancient Egyptian influences and stunning nature, meeting with a modern Muslim nation. I'm Lex Universe and this is Egypt, the ancient child of the Nile River. Egypt and France have in common, well except for the fake news that it was Napoleon who somehow bombarded the Sphinx's nose. Well, we are going to Luxor and in the span of this video I will tell you exactly what it is that France and Egypt have in common, so stay tuned, let's go! Well, if you want, you can probably drive there yourself, but um, not to mention that I don't have a driving license, uh, it's kind of a difficult road. So I took this pre-organized tour. The trip itself should take about four hours, but um, somehow we ended up driving for six. Luckily there was a stop on the way. So we stopped at this little restaurant, I don't know, coffee house or whatever it is. Um, I got a coffee for one dollar, twenty pounds. Um, so, about today, uh, we will go to the city of Luxor. We will visit the two temples there, Luxor and Karna, and then we will head out to the Valley of the Kings, and well, we will visit some of the tombs of the ancient Egyptian kings. I'm not. Sh I think I read somewhere that it's not possible to film inside. By the way, there is quite a lot of Russians here. And, you know, why the fuck do all the Russians think everybody in the world speaks their language? I mean, come on, that time is over. Get over it and learn English like every normal human being. It troubles me even more because everybody thinks I'm a fucking Russian. Dead Russian? Well, sorry to all Russians, but let's move on. And here comes the city of Luxor. Looks interesting, doesn't it? And here is our first stop, Temple of Karna. Let's go explore it. So you can see the model of the whole temple. But let's check it for real. Well, now I feel like I'm wearing the full hazmat suit. We are at the main entrance, the walls of the Temple of Karnak, which is like the newest part of the whole area. Um, and. I'm sure if you've ever seen any pictures from Egypt, this is one of them. It's like the most notorious, the well-known part of the Karnak Temple. Let's go see it from the inside. You know, I've always wanted to learn hieroglyphics ever since I saw Stargate. Uh, but then, then I kind of realized that that's probably not something I want to do in my life, and in such case it's not a very useful skill, so I never got to it. <laughs> totally unrelated, I also wanted to learn Icelandic, and I gave up for the same reason. <laughs> and over there you can see a statue of one of the most famous Egyptians in the history, and the most important Egyptian pharaoh, Ramses II. Um, he ruled Egypt for over 60 years and he had supposedly like 55 wives. So that's why Egyptians call him Ramsexi. That's a bit right. Our man Ramses is actually responsible for building majority of this temple, at least the newest parts.
That's just majestic, isn't it? I mean, look at the giant columns. It's absolutely incredible how close up to all these things you can get. I'm really surprised that it's not more damaged because you can like literally touch it and nobody will stop you. I won't do it because I'm not to dig, but theoretically you could. So this is like my one of the main areas here. In case you didn't know they from the movie Mummy here. So are you my mummy? One important thing about Egypt, like the Nile River divides it into two parts, the western and eastern. And while the eastern part was considered the land of the living, the western part was the land of the dead. That's why all the temples are on the western part, while the tombs on the eastern one. I sort of can't decide whether I'm warm or cold. It really depends whether I'm on the sun or somewhere in the shadows. Apparently it's the largest statue of a scarab in the world and if you want to get lucky you need to walk around it counterclockwise three times. And if you're a woman you want to get married then four times. So how many times? Three times. And now I will be very happy and lucky. So this is the sanctuary, the oldest part of the temple. What you could see at the beginning was the main gate with the walls, and that's actually the newest part of the, of the, of the temple. And as, this is the oldest one. And over the span of 1200 years, it got built outwards. So, it took quite some time. Can you see the well? So, that was built during the times of Ramses II, and he actually used it because it's like connected to the underground water of the Nile River and he used it as the basis for um, for the taxes that his subjects were supposed to pay to him so if there was a lot of water then, when the, then the floods of the Nile River were good and well they needed to pay more <laughs> those simple times Oliver Skarnak but it's almost lunchtime, so are you hungry? And now lunch with a view of the Nile River. By the way, if it weren't for this river, Egypt wouldn't exist. You could see it like when you get from the mountainous and deserty parts of Egypt approach this river. As you approach this river, uh, it gets greener and greener right here. It looks like a garden. So do you remember what I told you going west meant for the ancient Egyptians? Yeah, so let's take a boat to the afterlife. Oh, <laughs> that's incredible. I'm on the Nile and I mean can you see that I'm steering the fucking ship over there across the Nile there is the Luxor temple and there you can find one obelisk while the other one is missing and you can actually find it today on the Place de la Concorde in Paris. So that's what I promised you. So we made it to the western bank of the Nile and I cannot remember the name of these things, but you will see it on the on the screen. Anyway, could you see it? I got to steer the ship. Insane. Have 
Yeah, this is always annoying, and you see it everywhere. They would sell you their mother if they could. And now we have arrived to the temple of the Queen Hatshepsut. If you don't know, um, she was basically just a royal regent, but she ruled for quite some long time alone, on her own, instead of her son. And she was actually like wearing this fake beard and uh, well, she was dressing like a man because it wasn't very normal for women to rule at the time, so kind of interesting woman. So let's explore her temple. So if you look at this temple and think, oh that's suspicious, it's almost 4000 years old and it still looks good. Yeah, because oh, it was almost destroyed, like in the beginning of the 20th century, it was rebuilt, by the way, with the help of some Czech archaeologists. And uh, so what you can see is basically a reconstruction of the original temple. But that doesn't take away from me, does it? From here you can kind of nicely see how the whole valley of the Nile is a lot greener than the rest of the country. Kind of amazing, right? Apparently it's one of the very few temples in Egypt who are partially built and partially carved into the rock. There are quite deep tunnels in there. This kind of reminds me of Petra, although it looks a lot more <laughs> Egyptian. And the next on our list will be the Valley of the Kings. Let's go. So I'm a little bit confused right now. You can like film here with your phone but not with the camera. So I have to give it up. Which I don't feel very great about but Okay, whatever. Wow. This is... You don't see this every day, do you? So amazing. You know, one of the reasons why they stopped building pyramids and started carving these tombs into the rock is because the pyramids are actually quite visible and they were being robbed quite frequently. This is a lot more hidden. You can pay extra for visiting of the Tutankhamun tomb, but since all of the treasures have been transferred to the Egyptian museum, it's fairly empty and probably not worth it. So I really hope they enjoyed this video, um, it was an amazing trip, I, I'm so happy that I'm here. Um, so yeah, tomorrow we're going to Giza, but in the case of this video, if you liked it, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, check out my other social media and see you in the next video. Have a great day!